This model shows what could one day be the world's biggest telescope. Its main mirror will measure 42 meters in diameter. It's been designed for the European Southern Observatory. The extremely large telescope, or ELT as it's also known, will give astronomers an unprecedented look at space. The larger it is, the more light it collects, and the deeper it can see into the universe. The ground-based telescope will detect the visible and infrared light that's penetrated the atmosphere. Our biggest headache is the atmosphere itself. Large modern telescopes have to be adjusted to account for it. To correct the distortions of the incoming light, Markus kissler partig and his team are applying a sophisticated technique known as adaptive optics. He developed it at the European Southern Observatory. By the time they reach the telescope, the smooth images coming from space have been distorted by the Earth's atmosphere. So we need to correct these distorted pictures. What we do is build a mirror into the telescope, not a smooth one, but one that we can deform. We deform it a hundred times a second, after calculating exactly how the deformations have to look to smooth out the distorted images. It then passes on the smoothed out images to the instruments. It can turn a blob into a high-definition image. Making the mirror is a huge challenge. So far, it's possible to make single mirrors with a diameter of 8 meters. But 42 meters? Impossible. So the extremely large telescope's main mirror will be made up of 984 smaller ones fitted together. Each part can be adjusted separately. The makers also have to secure the telescope against earthquakes, storms and other extreme conditions. A possible site for the giant telescope is this high dry plateau in Chile. The European Southern Observatory has already started to build another telescope there. Called ALMA, it will have an array of antennas that will scan the universe in the radio frequency part of the spectrum. Together, ALMA and the ELT should provide astronomers with fabulous new insights. One of the main questions we'll be asking is, are we alone in the universe? Is there life outside our solar system, outside our planet? We'll be looking for answers to those questions. And the Europeans are prepared to pay for it. The costs of designing, constructing and operating the 42-metre telescope will exceed 800 million euros. For that, they'll get an instrument beyond the wildest dreams of Galileo, who first looked through a telescope at the night sky 400 years ago.